You're watching BTV. Rick Howes was happily retired until an ex-colleague, David Fennell, executive chairman of Reunion Gold, tried to entice him with a golden opportunity, the chance to get in on the Oco West project that Reunion was developing in the Guyana Shield. Fennell believed in the project from the beginning and wouldn't take no for an answer. I would say I said no the first maybe 10 or 15 times he called, but uh, eventually he convinced me to take a look and I flew down to Guyana and went to the property and certainly everything he spoke about was true about it. Now Reunion CEO Rick Howes is a true believer. We've probably got one of the highest quality discoveries in recent years in a good jurisdiction which again is supportive of mining and uh, allows for some fairly fast permitting timelines. And then that really allows this project to go from discovery to production in the order of six years, which is pretty rare. So about three years from now, we would expect to be in production. Don McLean, a senior gold analyst with Paradigm Capital, also sees the immense promise of the Oco Gold Project. You're dealing with a tier one discovery in terms of its size, the grades twice that that we would see in your typical large open pit mine. The existing resource that was published in June at 4.3 million ounces at 1.9 grams was excellent, but it only went down to about 600 meters. We've been plotting it and measuring the resource ourselves ever since it started. And we're sitting at about five and a half million ounces. As the Oco West resource grows, so does momentum for the project. There's a lot of news flow now this year, an early part of the year coming out. One will be the release of the final drill results from the deep extension drill program, followed by our resource estimate update, which will include our very first update of the underground resource potential. And then that will be followed by our PEA, which we anticipate to release in May, which will pretty much give us everyone a good idea of what the value proposition is of this particular project. To Don McLean, the value of Oco West is already undeniable. It's a very attractive discovery at a time when we don't have that many great discoveries. I think there will be a very interesting MHS game take place in 2024, but in the end I suspect it will be a, a Hollywood issue for investors to pick between competing bids for the company. The project is one that I would say is it ticks all the boxes for anyone who's wanting a major gold producer with a long life ahead. And certainly where the company is trading at today, it's a real opportunity for shareholders to get in at a very cheap price and ride the wave that I think is going to happen. Development costs for the Oco West project are funded through to construction decision, which is anticipated sometime during Q2 of 2025.